Hi, Wes Hamilton with insight number 11. In numerology, help me with relationships. That's a question that I get quite frequently. Uh, yes, the answer is yes. So what do we do with uh, relationships in numerology? We look at lots of different parts. We look at the name, the birth date, timelines. Uh, it's so interesting. I, I did a class a few years ago and we were looking at, uh, at that time, President Obama and his wife, uh, Michelle, and looked at their two charts and measured uh, what their heart's desire was and what their destiny was and so forth. And then we looked at the timelines. And it was so interesting. It showed in their timelines that they were going to meet sometime during their college years. And we did the research, and by golly, they did. That's where they met in college. So is there a good name or a bad name or a bad number in numerology? No. Uh, what we're looking at in numerology with relationships is compatibility. And compatibility can work a lot if you just understand what you're using as an energy for uh, to be compatible. So do two twos, uh, are they very compatible? Of course they are. But is a one and a two? Well, of course they are. What we do is take a look at the big picture. Who are these people? Where are they at in life? What their timelines? And the main thing is, how do they show up to each other? Because oftentimes we see ourselves one way and the people see us a different way. So helping each other learn about how to communicate with each other, what to be expected, what timelines you're in, it's all really helpful. So yes, numerology does an amazing job with relationships.